Frank, Sally, get in gear! Right then, pass me out of ideas. No worries, my pet. Uncle Frank has this well in hand. Scored this code off a mate down at the grind. Cost me a pretty penny. Now we head to the roof, jump across to the neighbors, hop into our waiting truck, down the hidden alley, and off to the buyers. All sweet and tidy and just like that. Come on, Frank. We need to vacate these premises now. Just another typical shit night in the big wet. Rules is rules. No fighting in the pub. Now get lost! Hogan ass kisser had it coming. Shit, where'd my compad go? <laughs> New voicemail. What's this about? End of the night, Frank. Your due date is fast approaching, and it's time for you to settle your debt. Pay up! Always settle it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Shit. Suppose it was only a matter of time before they caught up with me. Still no way I'll be able to make that date. Where the hell is Sally? She was supposed to be here 20 goddamn minutes ago. Hey, Frank. Almost there. Got stuck in bloody bridge traffic. Meet you at the Eggman in a bit. Don't worry, this is worth it. Well, that's promising. Now I just need a way back into the pub. Piss off, Ninja. You're blocking me. <laughs> Sunlight. Ain't daytime, you pickled tosspot. <laughs> what do you know, <laughs> asshole? Hell's bells. Can't walk a block without tripping over a drunk ass bum. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? That crowbar. Let me borrow it for a minute. You... You think I'm going to lend you, Margaret? How's about I smash your fucking kneecap instead? You just call that crowbar Margaret? <laughs> She's your girl, then. Give me some bloody change, will you? I'm dying. Dying of thirst. Why don't you take a nice nap instead? Piss off! Not giving my girl Margaret to a greedy scummer like you. Shh! You're all right, girl. You're all right. So, Frank. Spare a few. 
few quid for a down on his luck hero of the revolution. There you go, mate. Nice kebab will probably do you some good. Ha! More like time for old Mickey boy to buy himself a bottle of something nice and strong. Sounds like someone's having a bad night. Probably even worse than mine. This is why you always pay the boss back on time. What's the drama, Ian? Did he turn down your romantic advancements? Very funny, Barber. He's a week late, so boss sent me to collect 200 quid and leave him with a few reminders. We all know how much you love your work, Ian. Saw your name on the collections list for next week, Barber. With what you owe. Or be scoring me some overtime. I'll teach you to mind your own business. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have gotten involved. against his next attack. I'm taking cover. Not happening. Holy shit! <laughs> I can still kick ass like a young gun. That's a decent little water goodness. Not quite enough to choke a donkey or fix my loan situation. Quite enough to pay off my bar tab. I suppose he was planning a birthday party. That money must have been earmarked for the bike. I'll take these firecrackers. Could be useful to draw someone's attention. Don't even think about it, Frank. No worries, Bob. Just wanted to make sure you would hear this in case of an emergency or something. I heard you just fine. Wait, what happened back there? No idea, mate. They were already like this when I got here. Overserved, probably. Uh, I'll take care of this later. Now, quit mucking about and fuck off, Frank.
That's a bloody racket out here. Ah, come on. A mess and another body to deal with. Ah. Oh. He'll be busy dealing with the mess I made in the alley. Now's my chance to get back inside. Are you having a laugh? Hey, you two! Don't go starting shit in here again! Right, over here. Well, shit, look at you, still in one piece. Bloody miracle, I'd say. No kidding. Figured you would have got yourself all chopped up over one of those loans you keep taking out. <laughs> Why is my business everyone's business these days? Since everyone knows you haven't been able to pull anything top shelf in a while. Too right. How about you? Working a real job now, all legit and shit. Sally Wheeler working a real job. Who in the hell was desperate enough to hire someone like you? Dog rescue shelter. We take in the leftovers from the underground race leagues, fix them up and find a place for them. People are still doing that shit. Don't they get enough from the King's League? King's League are reanimated monsters. Cybernetic killers. The underground shit is real dogs jacked up on crazy mids. Coming to you live from Hogan Telecom Stadium in sunny London for the opening ceremony of the Desmond Wells Cup. And what a wonderful day for a race it is, Tom. It was only 10 years ago on this very day that the first Desmond Wells Cup race was held. Boy, it's been quite a ride. Join us for more Desmond Wells Cup action. Fucking hell. Kings League is bad enough. What the fuck has happened to this country? Come on now. It's nothing that hasn't been happening for years. Makes me yearn for the good old days, it does. Back when we were robbing rich to feed the... Don't even say it, Frank. You were never a Robin Hood and you know it. Speaking of, you mentioned something about a job. That I did. And here comes a man with an interesting story. Frank, meet Gavin. The man's got some serious info for us. And has even agreed to come along for the full ride. Nice to meet you. Sally is told... You having a laugh? What, are we knocking over a video game studio? Calm your tits, Frank. Gavin here is a Hogan Industries employee. <laughs> Former Hogan Industries employee. Never catch me working for those pig fuckers again. Not after what they've done to me. Disgruntled ex-employee. Splendid. Let me guess. We're gonna help you blackmail your supervisor? No, Frank. It's not amateur hour. Gavin was in IT, and from what he tells me, he had access to every classified file in the company. There's a fucking treasure trove of info on Hogan. Whole company's covering up some kind of secret operation. We just need the proof. And that's why I reached out. Saw Sally's comments on one of Lady Shell's posts. Did some digging. You two have made a bit of a name for yourselves. Hear him out, Frank. This could be good for us. Plan simple. We pop into Ogan Labs all nice and easy since I can badge us in. We go to my office and I scrape the Ogan files from the network. And where exactly do we come in? Well, I'm not supposed to be in there and it's not something I can do remotely. You two, obviously, bring certain skills to the process. You know the drill, Frank. Muscle, firepower, knowing how to pick a lock. That's where we come in. Slip in, steal some computer info, slip out. Nothing else? No helicopters and rooftop chases? Nothing else. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, it's never fucking easy peasy. What are on these files, exactly? Things you wouldn't believe. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. Okay, big man. And what do we do with these files once we have them? We sell them to Ogan's competition. Or ransom them back. Whatever happened to heist and good old-fashioned robberies where all you needed was a bandana and a boomstick? It's easy money, Frank. Nothing is ever easy, mark my words. 
And bringing Junior here along is just inviting trouble. Did you get back in here, Frank? Bouncer and I talked it out. My ass, you two talked it out. Well, here I am, for better or worse. Worse, definitely worse. We're here with today's winners, Kenny Hogan and his amazing Sunday Gold, the official Desmond Wells Cups champions for the fourth year in a row. <laughs> Any words of inspiration for all our viewers? Mr. Hogan, anything you'd like to say to all your adoring fans and supporters? Sure. Remember this. You make your own luck in life. If you want to change the world, you've got to do it your bloody self. Every broke sot in this city has the same sad excuses. Well, here's a tip you can take to the bank. If you're broke, if you're beaten down, it's your own bloody fault. So get comfortable, because winners will always be winners. <laughs> right then, let's make a bloody fool of this twat. What's the bloody plan again? Seriously? We've been over it twice. Yeah, but I weren't really listening. Oh, you're a real true villain, ain't you? The plan is we get Gavin back to his bloody office so he can pull the server onto his compad. Once we have the files, we just walk right out. No mud, no blood. Huh, no blood. Like that ever happens. You're saying it's not a good plan? I'm just saying no plan ever survives contact with the enemy. Oh, uh, guys, I'm starting to think maybe this is not... Come on now, my son. It's lock and load time. Oh, maybe coming back here was a big fucking mistake. My heart's pounding. Hang on a sec. Their security camera's watching that elevator. Might be a mistake to put ourselves on full display. Could be an easy way to disable them. We could shoot them. Or maybe look for a way to just turn them off. Yeah, Gavin's approach makes a bit more sense than, you know, firing guns in an office building. Sure, whatever. We need to find a security terminal. It controls the building's security systems remotely. Hmm? It should let us disable the cameras. Well, let's find the security terminal right quick and get this show on the road. Sunday Gold tore through the other competitors, literally tore them apart. That pup is a right fucking killing machine. <laughs> Comes back stronger every year he does. Hey, what are you doing here? 
Hey, what the royal fuck are you doing in here? Funny, I was just about to ask you ladies the same thing. So, shut it! You lot are about to get an ass kicking! Sweet dreams. Bit. Yeah, yeah, shove it, Frank. Told you, no plan survives contact with the enemy. Like. 